Lot and his daughters. Previously, we had learned about God's judgment on the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. The darkness that plagued their hearts bled into the city like a river. Their wickedness knew no limits, and God decided to destroy them. He showed mercy on Lot and his family, yet Lot's wife and son-in-laws were destroyed. Now, we peer into the sickness of Lot's family. And although Sodom and Gomorrah had been destroyed, it still left its mark on Lot's bloodline. Inspired by the book of Genesis. Darkness covered the skies, and ash fell like snow across the surrounding land of Zohar. Faint screams could be heard from the distance, and fire illuminated the horizon like a sunset. Lot had fled to the mountains above Zohar with his two daughters, there they found refuge in a cave and hid away until they believed it safe to return. Exhaustion and hysteria marked their lives for days, and the minds of Lot and his daughters began to wander into darkness. In madness, the three of them dwelt, and fear began to be the driving force of all their decisions. One day, while Lot was away from the cave, the older daughter said to the younger daughter, we have lost everything, and our father is old. There is no man here to give us children, and we are missing out on the customs of the whole earth. Her voice slithered with delirium as she spoke. Let's get our father drunk and sleep with him, so that we can preserve our family line. So that night they filled their father. The three of them laughed as the night drug on and Lot drank more and more, drowning his sorrows and losses with more wine. The daughters tactfully drew Lot into a crapulous state, and he was unable to discern reality from his drunken nightmares. The older daughter drew him in close, and in their cave of deception, the two slept together. Lot, completely unaware of what he was doing, yet responsible for where he was, had sex with his daughter. Lot awoke the next morning ignorant of what had taken place. His daughter had left in the night. The following evening, as the sun set and Lot's inhibitions waned, he drank again with his daughters and slept with the younger daughter. Though he may not have been totally aware of what had happened, it was him who had allowed the heart of Sodom to creep into his daughters. It was him who showed cowardice in the face of adversity. In the pit of darkness and paranoia, two sons were conceived by Lot and his daughters. The first was named Moab, and the second was named Benami. These two men would build nations of their own, the Moabites and the Ammonites. From the debased and crooked nature from which they were conceived, the two men would build cultures that would wage war against the people of God for dozens of generations to come. Lot would be remembered as righteous, not because he exemplified any sort of faithfulness at all, but because God chose to save him.